mass intention as follows once mind mass for the repose of the souls of antony vaz and ramon menezes first dead anniversary intentions for the repose of the soul of rita fernandes canyut carvalho and benedict castellino thanksgiving wedding silver jubilee intention of linus and robert montero and all intentions in the box our entrance hymn will be every morning when the days began kindly rise every morning when the day is begun i thank the lord for all he has done every evening i kneel to pray thank you lord for another day thank you for the sun my lord thank you for the moon thank you for the days and nights mornings and afternoons every morning when the day is begun i thank the lord for all he has done every evening i kneel to say thank you lord for another day yes Thank you Lord for this day. Welcome to this Eucharist. Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. The readings today remind us that Jesus came to bring life and life and wholeness to the entire world he's come to restore that covenantal relation which was broken due to some reason or the other he's come to restore that back and that too in wholeness and we in our part have to prepare for it so let's prepare ourselves sisters and brothers by acknowledging our sins and preparing ourselves worthily to celebrate the sacred mysteries together i confess, I confess to almighty, to almighty god, god and to you my brothers and sisters, sisters that i have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my, my fault through my, my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask the blessed mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Almighty ever living God who govern all things both in heaven and earth mercifully hear the pleas of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in unity of the holy spirit God forever and ever. Amen. a reading from the letter to the hebrews brethren melchizedek king of salem priest of the most high god met abraham 
returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him and to him Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything he is first by translation of his name king of righteousness and then he is also king of salem that is king of peace he is without father or mother or genealogy having neither beginning of days nor end of life but resembling the son of god he continues a priest forever this becomes even more evident when another priest arises in the likeness of melchizedek who has become a priest not on the basis of a legal requirement concerning bodily descent but by the power of an indestructible life for it is witnessed of him you are a priest forever after the order of melchizedek the word of the lord thanks be to god the words of our psalm are you are a priest forever in the line of melchizedek and you listen to the tune you are a priest forever in the line of melchizedek all together you are a priest forever in the line of melchi zede the lord's revelation to my lord sit at my right hand until i make your foes your footstool our response you are a priest forever in the line of melchi zede the lord will send from sion your scepter of power rule in the midst of your foes our response you are a priest forever in the line of melchi zede can you rise for the gospel Alleluia 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 Jesus was proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction among the people alleluia 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 the lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus entered the synagogue, and a man was there with a withered hand. And they watched Jesus to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man, with a withered hand come here and he said to them is it lawful on the sabbath to do good or to do harm to save life or to kill but they were silent but he looked around at them with anger grieved at their hardness of heart and said to the man stretch out your hand 
he stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately held counsel with the Herodians against him how to destroy him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Melchizedek. This is a word that we often hear. And we heard it yesterday and we hear it today too. It's beautifully said in the first reading by the author. He beautifully illustrates what exactly is Melchizedek or who exactly is Melchizedek. Melchi, the king is righteous. Zedek, righteous. Now when I hear and when we we spoke about or we heard the first reading. The author of Hebrew, he beautifully says that Christ is linked. He is in the order and the line of Melchizedek. He is a priest forever. He is clearly stating it's not because of any law or any law of lineage. But it is through his life. It is through his wholeness that he is a priest forever. And we are welcomed, we are invited to partake in this through our baptism, through our mission, because we too are called for the three missions, priest, prophet and king. Through our baptism, we too are being invited to that. Today's gospel, as we heard, it reflected, it spoke, the gospel of Mark, beautifully speaks about the healing, the healing of a withered man. In this entire scenario, where we see there is one place, a healing happening. There is a restoration of something beautiful. The same time, there is something which is happening on the same scene. Wherein they are all, that's the Pharisees and others, they are stubborn and they are stuck with their thoughts. They are not ready to open themselves to that wholeness, to that life. I read a, a prayer which really touched me and I thought I would share this prayer with you all. So I'll read it to y'all. The prayer goes like that. I humbly admit my powerlessness to change myself and control everything. In my brokenness, I humbly admit my need for God and others. I look to God, believing He can comfort and restore me. How beautiful is this? This gives the entire picture of our life where we accept or we admit that we are nothing. We are just nothing in, in front of our Lord because we surrender our completeness to Him so that He restores us. So today's thought that we could take, we could ponder on is the word restore. And that is what we all look for time in and time out restoration of everything of ourself of our family of our being of our relationship of our children of our parents restoration in that wholeness wholeness of god in his likeness and image so let's close our eyes and take this moment to strongly profess and to believe that yes, He grants us that restoration. He is the wholeness that we are looking for. And in our prayer, let's pray to God saying that do not blind us by our duties that we miss out your divinity. Do not blind us by our old ways that we miss out the new ways. We ask God's grace to keep ourselves open for the new ways for Him in our life.
Y'all could slowly open your eyes. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of our earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become for us spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For wherever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too exalt you with all the angels, as in joyful celebrations we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when the supper was ended. He took the chalice once more giving thanks. He gave it to disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your Lord death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Oswald, our Bishop, and all auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Especially remembering all those who are celebrating their birthdays, their anniversaries, and the ones who have asked us to pray, we'll gather them in our thoughts at this table. At Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom thy come, come, thy will be, be done, done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us Give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not in temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With a smile on our face and a joy in our heart, looking at each other, let us offer a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. Let us make our spiritual communion with the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Lord, you have touched my heart and left me speechless. Silence is all I need to sing your praise. Lord, it is you who are my cup and portion. Lord, it is you yourself who are my prize. Lord, you have touched my heart and left me speechless. Silence is all I need to sing your praise. We have come to know and believe in the love that God has for us. Let us pray. Pour on us, Lord, the spirit of your love and in your kindness make those who have received and nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Altogether, Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine may be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they may be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. We are glad to announce the baptism of Regan Saul Gowis, son of Rahul and Shalini. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord through your life. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For in union with Christ, we are led to victory. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. We are.
of Christ's fragrance that goes everywhere to save the incense that burns to bring new life. Thanks be to God, thanks be to God, for in union with Christ we are led to victory. Thanks be to God, thanks be to God, thanks be to God.